Well, here it is, the 9x9 nine nine Dr. Plasma platform elevator in multi-floor form. Yep. Yeah. So uh, <clears throat> a bit of a challenge a little bit here and there, but not too bad. Came up with some cool circuitry. Uh, and I have yet to do all the, uh, the controls. You know and finalize it and put all the happy stuff in there like you know go to the floor you want and call function and all that but um, but the only way to to do this uh, and I'm a little under the weather this morning so sorry about my voice but uh, the only way to do this you can't reach these here have to be primed one two three four six observers uh, this one doesn't have the top part of the elevator but those have to be primed and then these two observers have to be primed and then that one and then it can fly with the bottom one um, but you can't reach these observers here in any way and keep the elevator shaft open so you can go as dr plasma did it originally you can go up uh, one floor and then of course go back down um, but in order to go through a shaft, you kind of have to do it a little differently. So the only, the only thing I came up with uh, are command blocks uh, to do that. Let's see, which one is it here? I got a couple different. Uh... Oh, here we go. So I did it with command blocks. Uh, so the command blocks um, prime the observers you can't reach by any other means. Uh, and then the pistons take care of the rest so and in between each priming is three ticks and I think I have four here uh, but it seems to work well I haven't tried it with three yet but um, anyway so when you hit this button all right it primes all these observers which pushes the first top part of the elevator up and then you prime these two observers here and then that one down there and then you launch it with the very bottom one uh, and I came up with the uh, launching mechanism which is pretty cool I kind of refined it let's take a look at this one again so let's see here So you saw the alternation there, pretty cool. However, like I said, you can't get to these pistons here, so that's why I did the, the command blocks. Uh, let's check it out and see how it flies over here. Um, but it also has resets. It's got resets for the, uh, the the up function, which is here. These, you know, these bars here lock the uh, lock the elevator from going up. All right, and then I've got this one here that uh, locks the elevator when it goes down. All right, and when the uh, observer that we have on the bottom of the elevator, wherever it is, where's the elevator? Oh, there it is. The observer on the bottom of the elevator goes past this and resets that. All right, let's uh, let's go down first. So if you want to go, and this is a one floor at a time elevator at the moment. So say you want to come down here. All right, and you, whatever floor this is, uh, four, I think. So if you want to go to four, of course, you're going to dial it in at the lectern, four. That's going to pop out. All right, and then you come up here. And you hit this blue button right here. Uh, very cool. Takes it down. Stops the elevator. Resets. Beautiful. All right, let's go up. So now this is where the command blocks kick in. Uh, and it all, it's all timed pretty well. Let's see. Let's go up to... Uh, <clears throat> now if this thing, uh, if I forgot to reset it and it went up to the sky, you just have to go up there and drop it back down again. That's all. Well, let's see let's set this one 
All right, the locks are out. And let's go down and send it up. All right, this mechanism here is pretty cool. I had to alter it a little bit because of this piston is right close together. I tried to keep it compact and, and uh, you know, keep it uh, streamlined, optimized, I guess is the word. Uh, let's see, what are we doing? Oh, we're going up. Okay, here we go. So we're going to go up. And there it is. Flies up. I love these copper blocks. They're awesome. All right, be up there in a minute. Uh, right now it's at 10 floors. Um, and then I'm going to come up with this different wiring. I got some ideas I'm finally going to put to use here. And the up should be reset. And there you go. Nice. Now these command blocks, uh, I'll just show you quickly that what you do is you locate um, these points right here. One, two, there's six of them. All right. So you figure out what the coordinates are of it. Minus one because you want to go under it. So that would be 170. So, and what I do is come over here. So what I do is set a block at the coordinates right under the observer, right? And that fires it. And then I've got this fill command and I air the block and you don't even see it. So, and what it does, it does them all at the same time, right? And the fact that there's a tick here I think that's why I put this on four. I think at three it would be fine, but I don't know. It works well. I'm afraid to change it. So basically that's how it works. That's my nine by nine.